Most fitness influencers are wrong about using EMG to guide exercise selection. The thinking goes that the exercises or techniques that elicit the greatest EMG amplitude will confer the most muscle growth possible. However, how does using EMG as a predictor of muscle growth actually pan out? Well, in a recent study by Plotkin and colleagues, they did just this. They tried to see whether or not using EMG would actually be a predictor of muscle growth across the whole study. Participants first had their EMG measured on a variety of exercises, specifically the squat and hip thrust. Then, for the whole study, they were assigned to doing either just squats or just hip thrusts. They found that EMG during the squat or hip thrust didn't actually predict muscle growth stemming from the squat or hip thrust at all. For example, while the hip thrust led to greater EMG in the glutes than the squat, both the squat and the hip thrust led to similar glute growth overall. So wherever possible, use better hallmarks of what makes a good exercise. For example, getting a good stretch in the target muscle group, the exercise being challenging in that stretch position, and finally, being relatively stable.